again, Hammerheads. Gadgets are a funny concept, aren't they? Me and gadgets don't have a very understanding relationship with each other. I mean, that's me fifth fucking camcorder I'm using. The fifth one in under a year. Well, one of my exes smashed me other one. I accidentally trod on one. I had to take one back because it wasn't very really loud. And then I bought one that had fucking... You had to put little tapes in it and all that. Didn't have a memory card. I thought, I'm not having this. It's from the prehistoric friggin' age. So I took that back and got that one. But that's alright. It's HD and all that. But then this little thing, right? My girlfriend got it for my birthday. Don't get us wrong. I was in January. Works. Does the business. What it actually is, is you plug it into a decent stereo, which has a tape deck on it, and from there into your computer, and then you transfer your what's over on your cassette to your laptop by, by your hard drive, and then from that to YouTube. I've got a few songs on. I mean, like, the ones I did in the 90s, you know. I wrote them and composed them, all that. But there's this one underlying problem. Works, gets the songs across, you know, from what that to that and blah de blah. But I have to keep going through them all, all the time. Replaying them to me. And like, there's this interference. It's like, every now and then it's like... And they're like, overpowers the music a bit and it's like where the bloody hell is it coming from has anyone got any ideas because everything's plugged in correctly i've got all the settings right i've tried everything i've ran out of options so i've given up because i don't know where that interference is coming from when i've turned my mobile off i don't even light the joint up because my light is like one of them electric ones I unplug my landline, my telly and everything's off. So what the hell is it? Where's it coming from? Someone got a fucking CB round here or something. But apart from that, it fucking works fine. But somewhere along the line, there's interference. I mean, this is the middleman. So, I don't know, I don't know, I've exhausted all avenues I'm afraid, hammerheads, so, I mean I've got a tape on now, I'm going to put some of these songs on, you know, just to put them on YouTube, give people a chance to hear them and all that. I mean, this one's a fucking... This is an ancient poem I turned into a song. Well, it's... It's a German soldier from the First World War who wrote this. <laughs> so I went, hey, that's canny, so... I wrote a song about it. Right, well, same words and all that. But I added a chorus as well. <laughs> Well, not really a chorus, just a title. Fucking gadget, so. Me and all mine. I think there's a media flying past us somewhat lately, because only fucking electrical goods and gadgets are like going haywire. Mind them their own and that. It's weird, man. Unless that serial killer, Mick, from Wolf Creek is out there stalking. It's funny everyone's watches stopped in that film, innit, at the same time, and that. Well, we all know why the car broke down. That was Mad Mick, wasn't it? <laughs> gadgets, gadgets, gadgets. Hmm. 
I think I'll... There's only one or two things you can do in them kind of situations, right? You can either give up on them, walk away from them and, and go back to the fucking stone age, you know what I mean? Or you can tackle the problems head on. Oh, I'll sort this, I'll sort this. I remember once, right? Years ago, I was trying to like, I had a three in one, a scanner, a printer and a copier and that. And uh, for the life of me, I couldn't, I couldn't figure out how to scan photographs and get them onto me fucking hard drive, hard drive and that. It was like, how do you do it? Two days, wait, two nights it took me. I went home from work the third fucking night. I went, this is it. I'm gonna fucking, I'm doing it tonight. I'm gonna check for every little thing I might have missed. And, uh, sure enough, I was so happy with myself. I thought, look at that. I've just scanned the photo. Well, I'd never done that like that before. I'm going back 2004, like. <laughs> I was in my infancy then when it came to fucking computers. All I knew how to do was type things. <laughs> Bloody bit. No disrespect to all John, because it fucking works. But it's interference somehow. I don't know if it's the fault of that or it's coming from somewhere else. Like Haley's comments. It's probably like revisiting Earth. We don't know about that or something. I don't know. I wonder if he's up there now. War Bill. He's flying past. Yeah. Fucking gadgets, man. I'll get used to them. I mean, right. The, um, it was the Americans, yeah, who invented the calculator. I can't remember what year. Oh. Either very late 60s or early 70s. Between 69 and 71 or something. And then... <laughs> the Japanese came along with one better. They invented the digital watch. <laughs> Losing competition, inventing things, them three countries were there. Germany, Japan, Japan and America. <laughs> they were, oh, I'll do one better than that. Oh, I'll do one better than that. Maybe it's the Germans who invented the car, wasn't it? Mm. The Americans had to follow us close behind with a bloody Ford. <laughs> Which is still shit today, as it it's always been. Two things, two unredeeming features Fords possess. One, very easy to break into. Two, very easily break down and all. I'm sure it was the Japanese who invented um, the video recorder. And that was actually invented in the mid 60s by the Japanese. And then um, didn't really take off. Too expensive to build, too, too expensive to bloody well buy. So they abandoned the idea. But it come back about again in the early mid 70s. A smaller version, cheaper components, blah de blah, because it was a digital age then. And like fucking microchips and all that, and poof. But it's still that expensive, and it's still a massive fucking top loader as big as somebody's biggest caravan. And them were always breaking down them top loaders, tuning your bloody tapes up and all that all the time. But Christ. 1975, right? One of the, one of them would have cost about two and a half grand, and that's a lot of money in 1975. 
same microwaves. I'm not sure who invented them. Them mid seventies cost you a bloody fortune, man. I remember a bloke, right? It was in the papers and that. Microwaves were in the infancy at the time, you know, people didn't know much about them and all that. Didn't have proper seals for the doors and stuff. Anyways, this bloke, right, he worked in the chippy. When I lived in Middlesbrough, he was in the papers, right? He's like, he got sick of opening the microwave door all the time and putting pies in and out of it and stuff like that. So he, he took the door off, didn't he? He cooked himself to death. But he's standing in front of it and all that. <laughs> and then um, they started rethinking the manufacturing um, policies and that then. Oh, why the doors should be sealed. They should be, so you can't take them off. There should be big warnings on them about taking the doors off. Because they still used to work with the doors off, but you can't do it anymore. They've got safety features. So why, in the remake, right, of The Last House on the Left, you know, the remake version, put his head in a microwave with a door off and that, and it still bloody really cooked his head and blew it up. And that's in modern times. Unless they saved an old one. Ah, yeah, but I think if I watch that film again, I'll, I'll probably miss the line that says, when are you going to throw that old microwave out? Probably. <laughs> uh, Inspector Gadget, eh? He didn't even know how to use his properly. So imagine how bad I am. I'm not even an inspector. <laughs> anyway, hammerheads. I'm going to do one. Good night. Again, hammerheads. Have you not gone yet? Like, I wonder if my bin's still halfway down the garden path. Every time it's dead windy like this, your bins end up all over the fucking. Why? Well, come home from work today, like, and. The whole street, all the fucking bins are blown all over the place, the wheelie bins and that. Luckily they were emptied like by the bin men that morning. <laughs> Luckily me upstairs weird neighbours took me bins in for us. They do that sometimes. And then, um, put the black bit out of the recycling bin. That was all up the bloody street, I to go and get that. That's the only cardboard and paper and that. Why is it right, talking of recycling? Eh? I've got a great big massive gigantic bloody enormous wheelie bin, right? A green one, just for your household products, you know. That's a massive bin. And yet, your recycling bin is t bloody twice as thin as it and it's got a big black thing on the top to put your magazines and cardboard and paper and all that in it. 
You can hardly fit anything in it. And yet, most of your household bloody waste is cans, tins, bottles, things like that, and cardboard and all that. <laughs> should be the other way around, we should have a massive recycling bin. I mean, I can't fucking put them, fit them all in there, man. The amount of beer I drink in a bloody week. Jesus wept. I need fucking ten recycling bins out there. Anyway, I'm definitely gone now, hammerheads. See you later. <laughs>